go to Knights of War, where it's Will here for uh, one of our final ATGen construction updates. We're less than a month uh, away from the event, and um... hello, Jess. <laughs> We're less than a month away from the event, and pretty much all we've hit a fun plateau in the construction so far, where there's not going to be a ton more that we can see because it's pretty much going to be all finished. Um, right now, I'm currently sitting right outside of the Bride of Frankenstein Lives facade, um, which is really interesting. They haven't even put up the plastic door thingies that they have there, and you can see directly in to the first room, which I'll probably be showing you guys in the following update. Um, um, but yeah, um, so, so far, um, it looks really incredible. We're not going to see a ton more than... Um, you know, the updates from people like TLEB and whatnot from last week. Um, because, like I said, there's not a whole lot more to report, which is very exciting. Almost there. Almost almost to HHN. We got, um, I don't think it's always September 9th. It's, today's the, it's the 18th. 18th. Well, today's Wednesday, the 18th of August. That means we've got some amount of days until the 9th. I don't know. I don't, I didn't do well in math. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, Catch you guys in the next clip. Here's our facade for Halloween 4. So here is our first bit of construction for the day. We're looking at Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, I don't can't see too much from the facade so got that tree and the fence over there nothing much to report um, black walls move into there it's not looking like we're gonna get to the tunnel this year or the back lot unfortunately but um, back here I think it looks about the same foliage uh, little structure right there and that's about it Looking good. Oh, I just saw as we're heading down the escalator, you get a good shot in there, but some signage up there. Nothing crazy, but you know, it's something. East 21 is one of the oldest trails they just on our lot. It has a gigantic pit inside of it, which is what they use to test out a pesky shark. It also helps to build the levels for Apollo 13. Mission Control. Yeah. So let's continue talking about our rich television history, which beats Mini Cooper. And also see that black Dodge Charger. That was Dominic Toretto's Dodge Charger. The yellow bar for the distant sense of Bumble. The Bits Hotel at the Cycle House. And one of my favorite parts of Universal, this view, she's trying to escape the camera. <laughs> is this beautiful view of San Fernando Valley. God. And even better often, I think, at Horror Nights when you got all the lights from all the buildings out here going and whatnot. God, so incredible. We're approaching the end of our day here at Universal. And let's show you the lines, because these are pretty fucking short. So look at this, we got Forbidden Journey 15, Fly the Hippogriff 5, Ollivander's 20. We just came off the last studio tour. Um, oh, and they're gone. But anyways, they're pretty solid. It's a Wednesday. Everyone's gone back to school. Me and Jess here picked a pretty good day. We got like, how many rides did we get in? Seven. Well, lots of repeats. I don't think there are even seven rides in the park. Um, but we're about to hit up Jurassic World and then go to Curious George to get Pandora's box and Haunted Hill House. I doubt there's going to be a ton to report, um, but let's give it a whirl. Okay. See you in a minute.
the end of our tour and I'd like to thank each and every one of you for taking the World Famous Studio Tour. I'd also like to thank our driver, Eric, for holding it down, everybody, getting us back safely. Woohoo! We appreciate you. Now here's an insider tip for all of you to get the most out of today's visit with us. Download the official Universal Studios Hollywood app to check out wait times, show times, to get up to a minute park information. For example, check on show times for Waterworld, the live Sea War Spectacular, or to confirm that the park closed. All right, so we got some actually progress here. I don't think I ever remember seeing these walls here. We got the Haunting of Hill House all up and there is plenty more materials that it looks like they are moving in on. Um, and over here, it looks like there's some woodworking going on by Pandora's box. Um, it looks like it's coming along good. They've got these lighting posts up, which weren't there before. And I think that looks like about it. I'm very excited, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting so close, so close to the action. So, hell yeah. So we returned home. I realized I forgot to film an outro. Um, me and Jess have started Halloween 2 because it feels festive, it feels a little fun. Um, but, yeah, some, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Um, some good shit uh, earlier today. Um, not a whole ton because we're hitting that plateau at the end of the, um, at the end of the construction cycle where it's just like, you just gotta wait until the event in order to see everything. Um, uh, I, uh, let's see, was there anything else? Um, let's see, so at Curious George uh, parking structure, um, I think I talked you through it, um, pretty much got everything, not a whole ton, got some lighting going, um, and a lot more like wood and materials on the ground, but not a whole lot to see, um, which is kind of exciting. So, um, that concludes our, um, Wednesday the 18th construction update for Halloween Horror Nights, uh, peace.